Hey YouTube, uh, this is a video on how to clean your pool tile. Uh, this is a follow-up from Bueno Bob's video. If you're looking to clean the mineral deposits off of your pool tiles, uh, Bueno Bob has a video. This is gonna, this one's gonna show more uh, tools and methods to help you get your project done a little bit faster. You can see this, it's time for me to re-epoxy the pool, fix the pool light, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so what I got here is um, bueno Bob tells you to get one of these things right here and you want to use these for just about 15 feet of this glass tile and when they get to about this kind of condition then you then it's done and you want to use a new one this is where I took it way too far and you're just working too hard and not getting anywhere so uh, they have these attachments at Home Depot this is for a, a grinder and this doesn't work no way it's it uh, turns too fast and it burns up the work. This one's too, it's too slow and too heavy. And what I found out works the best is this one right here. I use my Milwaukee hole shooter and uh, it's just got about the right speed. And I even go a little bit slower and slow is your friend. It works really well with this. And uh, this is what we're trying to eliminate is the calcium deposits. And this is it finished right here. And you see, we're trying to get all this calcium knocked off and it's on there good so what i'm using is i've got some clr and uh mixed with with soapy water and and so i'm taking this and getting it kind of soaking it in really good the whole thing is the most important thing about this is you you really want this wet when you do it so uh if it if it dries up the the bit will will um scratch the tile and make the tile bad and so you don't want that so um, I'm gonna do a little section and show you how fast it comes off so first I get the tile tile wet with the brush and I go ahead a little bit and let it soak in with the CLR you might want to invest in some long gloves if you're doing if you're using the bit this way it splatters on you and this stuff is corrosive it's kind of bad and then, so what I do, you can also use the face of the bit, and you don't want to put any pressure. Just, just let the let the bit do its let the the bit do its work. And uh, I put it in there, but just make sure the most important thing is that it's wet. And then here we go. And I do a low speed, and very little pressure. To let the bit do, do all the work. Okay. And I'm just doing one row of tile at a time. And then I do the next, do the next one. doing one, one tile at a time, making sure that it's re really wet. That's the most important. The more wet it is, the faster it comes off. And if you do it this way, um, you could trade up either way, but when you do it this way, it's going to splatter out on you and you want the long gloves. You can get those long gloves from um, Harbor Freight and they're only $8. Seems to work better on the face here. You get more surface area on the work and it comes off faster. And as long as you keep it wet, it doesn't scratch the glass tile. It's pretty crazy.
I rinse it off and then I see I got a couple little grout spots I need to finish off and you can just get into the get into it with the, with the edge here. Okay, you just want to make sure it's wet. That's the most important thing. And that'll do it. I just have a few more feet to go, but um, there's just little touches up. You just go back and touch up where you need it. But that's about it. Hopefully it helps you out. Makes it uh, makes your job go a lot easier. Thanks.